Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Lightroom tutorial. My name is Manny and welcome to this quick post. As you guys can see already in today's tutorial session we're going to show you guys a little Lightroom trick again. Alright so as you guys can see I'm here in Lightroom 4 and I just opened library and I'm basically on my normal workspace. So I want to just upgrade or actually make my workspace a bit bigger so what I'm going to do is press F quickly and just make this full screen so it's nice and easy. Okay so in today's tutorial what I also want to show you guys is how to to edit your watermark in Lightroom 4. A lot of people ask me how to do that so here's the tutorial for you guys. Alright so let's get started. First of all what you need to do in Lightroom, open Lightroom and then you'll have to go here to the top to Lightroom and you'll go to edit watermarks. Alright so select that and as you guys can see complete no window will pop up now and in here you will adjust and edit everything that has to do with your watermark. Alright so on the left hand side you've got some presets over here as you guys can see I can choose I'm um, just chose custom already but I can choose from a lot of different presets that I've saved before. Okay so on the right hand side what we're going to do is basically adjust our watermark and then we will save it. So let's start with that. As you guys can also see down here you can already type in a certain name that you want to have. So I'm just going to write there just Manny today and put that nice and big okay so down here you also see Manny so I do have the option now of scaling it right down here but I don't want to do that I actually want to go into the options and scale it in here and tweak it a little bit okay so our first option here is also to just import an image if you maybe want to put your real original logo onto your image you're welcome to do that and that's very easy you're just going to choose your custom logo there so just press on choose and then you'll have to search uh, the location for your file if you have a designer friend or something like that or if you're able to do it yourself try to save it under a PNG file with no background so you can easily add that uh, watermark to your image okay let's go to next option down here sorry text option so in text options you have a little bit of an option to just tweak your text down here as you guys can see the font at the moment I'm not really a fan of that so I'm gonna change the font to Arial Arial there we are and we have it as Arial so maybe I also want to just rewrite this and write this all in big so Manny and maybe write Manny photo okay as you guys can see it's a little bit too big now so I can still scale it down here okay but we'll still go back to our text options adjustments over here. So under style you can also choose regular or bold, italic, whatever you want to have. I'm going to choose regular for the moment. Then also if you want to space it into the middle, right or left, I think mine is too big now so that's why it's not moving. And also color, if you would like to have a different color, you can choose a different color over here. Then there's another nice option that you'll have over here. You can tweak indi individual things like the shadow, the offset, radius and angle. So if you want to tweak your opacity of the shadows a little bit, I re really can't see it now. So let me just go up watermark effects. Under watermark effects at the bottom you'll have something like anchors. So under anchors you can place different anchors and place your watermark in a different area. So say for instance I'll put mine in the middle and then go back all the way to top here to shadows and as you guys can see now I do have a little bit of a drop shadow on them on my watermark here so under opacity I can tweak that shadow which is really nice so okay keep it over say 60% offset if you want to also I'm not a fan of that so I'm gonna change it to 7 radius oh that's all just about the shadow okay and also angle of the shadow I'm gonna keep it over minus 10 okay then the last step that we still have I'm just going to minimize all of this is watermark effects so if you want to have the opacity at 100% you can change it like that or keep it like that or if you want to you can change it and dim it a little bit I'm going to dim it all the way to say around 19% here then also size proportional fit or fill I already changed my size myself so I would actually like to make it a little bit smaller like this and then also change my anchor points again so maybe on the right hand side here at the top as you guys can see already this is my preview um, imported image that I originally have my original logo so you can either do that and I anchored it all the way to the left now today we're gonna do a text one so I anchored to the right okay if you still want to you can rotate that if it's easier for you I'm not gonna rotate that at all I'm just gonna keep it like that and we are actually done so the last step that you'll have to do is now hit save so I'm gonna hit save and it will ask me new preset so I can save that under tutorial 
Okay, and then we're going to say create. So hit create and we are done. Now if I'm going to go to file and if I go to export and select one image, then I can already select my specific things that I want to do for exporting. And down here under watermark, I can select exactly that tutorial preset that we just did. So under here it's tutorial. I'm going to select that and also say file, exit location to a desktop folder. Yes. And we're going to hit export down here and that one image will be exported. So if I'm going to press F now and again F to get out of the full screen mode, so I'm going to minimize this now and as you will see on my desktop I do have a folder called workshop and in here is my first workshop file. So in here is my finished exported image and as you guys can see I've got my nice big watermark on top of that. Now if I'm going to also sync that with say 20 or 30 images and export that they will all be applied the same watermark will be applied to all my images. Okay, so guys, that was my quick tutorial. If you do have any wishes for the future upcoming tutorials, please post them down below in the comment box or send me an email to team at manyphotography.co.za. Thank you guys for watching and see you all next week in another quick tutorial. Bye-bye.